GPT-5 is here, and when you use it, you might feel a little underwhelmed. But here's what's really going on. At first, when you start playing with GPT-5, you'll probably notice that it's faster and it tends to sound less like AI, but it's still not like a massive step function change. It's not a fully fledged AI personal assistant. It's not booking your flights. It can't pass the resi test. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, OpenAI doesn't care that much about whether ChatGPT can book your flights. What they really care about, their actual long-term goal since the very beginning is about whether or not they can move the needle towards AGI, artificial general intelligence. We are all interacting with this model, GPT-5, through a chat window, ChatGPT. And it's very difficult to truly get a sense of just how smart these models are in a chat interface. And that's where those benchmarks come in the ones that the AI companies like OpenAI are constantly talking about whenever they come out with a new model. They're essentially trying to measure how hard of problems can this model accurately solve? Because eventually, soon, the goal is to point the AI model at problems that humans haven't even solved yet. Things like climate change. And the headline is that GPT-5 is the smartest model that has ever been made. For more conversations about how AI is impacting work and the world around us, follow this page.